What's up, guys? Uh, this is the beginning of Resident Evil 7. I already beat it once. It's going to beat it again to get a different outcome. Uh, here's my badass car. So, let's get to it. Uh, if you hear any noise in the background, that's a little girl trying to be vocal with us. But like I said, I've already uh, uh, beat this one time. Uh, I think the graphics is like really awesome on it. Really enjoyed it. Uh, first go around, I was trying to find everything, so I, so you know, I took my time. Uh, yeah, I took my time so I could um, look around, get the feel of how everything goes. Uh, just for the simple fact, when I came back through, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a trophy hunter, so I like to get as many trophies as possible. It's really sucked because I missed my, the last go around that I played, I missed my document trophy uh, where you read everything by one fucking, by one fucking um, document. Which really sucked. I uh, missed a few bobbleheads, so I'll be able to look out for them. Uh, I mean, I don't know how long I'm gonna take this go around. I'm gonna try to get through it as quickly as quickly as possible, but uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Overall, I've always been a fan of Resident Evil. I've been playing on since uh, since Resident Evil the first one uh, Resident Evil 2 was always my favorite one if we're being honest here uh, this one's up there the only issue I've really had with the Resident Evils is you know they I felt like they got away from their origin uh, say Resident Evil 2 and 4 were my all-time top ones I started playing Resident Evil 6, and I never got to finish it, unfortunately. Uh, I was kind of liking it. I was still on the fence about it. But overall, it's, uh, it's an awesome series. And if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm just, you know, checking stuff out. I like to take in the scenery and look at the graphics overall. I'm real big on how graphics look. So. I mean, coming from how long I've been playing games, stuff has really, really progressed. I've been playing them for a very long time. Very, very long time. But, this is just kind of a quick intro to the game. As soon as I get to the house, I'm going to stop recording and I'll probably see you guys again when I get into my first struggle. Maybe sooner, I don't know. I don't record a whole lot because I don't like to give spoilers away to people that hasn't played. or And you know, I know half of you probably didn't play and came here just to see what the hell I'm doing, but yeah. And that's our baby's license. So, take a good look at it. She messaged my dude because, uh, yeah, she wants to be. She misses him. But here is our creepy old house. which I totally fucking live in. There's a water tower. Old swing. 
and not the kind of swing that some of you kinky motherfuckers are probably thinking about either. So yeah. And of course, you know, you're playing the game, somebody just leaves the door wide open for you. Allow me to close that. But like I said, I mean, you can tell the graphs. I know I said I was going to start recording when I got here, but I just wanted to show some of the inside before, you know, the ruckus pops off. Yeah, you can tell. Graphics are pretty good. Yeah, I knew that was locked, but I like to do everything over and over again. Anybody hungry? I know you're hungry, you want that, don't you? Okay, guys. Sounds. So you got your choices. You either have the soup du jour. See what's in the fridge. Mmm. Fucking awesome maggots. Oh, I heard him. Ah, uh, if you want to look for, I forgot where this damn bobblehead is. I hear him. Which ain't gonna matter right now because I don't have a gun. Anyway, before I go into this room, I will be back with you guys when I hit my first encounter. See you.